So we have our ganache now. Um, the consistency is probably like Nutella um, or a smooth peanut butter maybe. Um, so you can see what it's like. Yeah, so it's nice and strong. Right. Okay, so put that there. Get my cake. Right, so I'll put some. Sorry, that's my phone going off. Shows that you do everything from home. So I'm going to put some ganache on this part here. And then turn him upside down so he sticks onto the cake. Okay. Onto the cake board, what am I talking about? Onto, uh, stick the cake onto the cake board. And then I'll put some in the middle, like this. And then match up your cocktail sticks, like I said earlier. Press that down, take that out. Okay, I'm gonna go for the next one. Spread, spread, spread. Okay, tip him upside down. Oh, I have got a bit of a skew with. So that's how I look, it's nice and tall. There we go, it's perfectly. Pleased with that. The spirit levels, um, absolutely love Poundland. You want them to keep costs down and you don't want to spend out an absolute fortune. That's why I'm trying to do it without any of my professional um, equipment because I want it to make it easy accessible for everybody in the home without spending an absolute fortune. So spirit levels, I think you get a set of three, you get a smaller, medium and a large for a pound, believe it or not, from Poundland. There we go, so I've matched those two cocktail sticks up. I get, I think, six boxes of cocktail sticks for a pound. Um, I get my Paris proof paper, pound. Um, they also have like a, a little collection there of cake making items. Um, so it's good to have a look down there. They've got sieves there. Um, they, they even do the cake boards actually, um, so pound, it's pretty good. Okay, make sure that's nice and, so as you can see, it's not that even as I'm putting it up there, it doesn't need to be. Like I say, it's, it's how you do this now, so you want to get your covering right before you put your fondant on. Now the chocolate ganache, you can either um, do some decorations on that and leave it as it is. Um, and just put a name on there. You can even do a little bit of piping because this consistency is good for that. Now we don't have to be brilliant at this either. So I'm gonna put some on the top. So I don't need no professional ganashing discs or anything. I use my grease proof paper circle, put that on the top there. And the silver side of my little cake board, I'll press that down so it gives it something to... Okay, then I'm quite happy to put this on there then. So press down and you turn... The turntable um, I got from the... not the range, I got it from The Works which is a bookstore cheap bookstore and they sell them for three pounds. If you go to the pound store, they sell caster sugar, pound, and it's the big ones, which normally if you go to a normal supermarket, it's normally one pound 50 and above. They also sell icing sugar in there, a whole, whole kilogram box, which, and I think it's Tate and Lyle, Pound. Um, what else do they do in there? Which you can get really. Oh, they do egg. Well, they do the whole lot actually. They do the margarine, they do the eggs, and they do masses of sprinkles and um, different coloured um, cake, uh, chocolate melts. So, as you can see, this isn't perfect. 
the idea is just so you've got a base and then we do a little bit of magic and this is why the, the cake turntable is brilliant okay so then I get my scraper um, there's loads of these online uh, I think this one was about £2.99 use them all the time there we go and you just go around and use your top board as a mark and try and get it flush 90 degrees with your cake drum okay so that definitely needs more what you can do in between is if you just wanted to leave that and then put that in the fridge to set a little bit you can do that but for time again all about time When people say, oh, I can't fit in a cake, I haven't got time, I haven't got time for this, I haven't got time for that. Whew. My life is a little bit busy. I run five different businesses. Um, I run a cake business. I am a party entertainer. I, if you look on some of my other tutorials, you'll see that I am a ventriloquist. Um, I have a bouncy castle business, I have an embroidery business, hence the free cakes for kids apron, um, I've got a painting and decorating company, hence the keep quoting for the painting, I will just say I don't do the painting myself, we have people who work for us, but there are still a lot of things to juggle around. Oh, and <laughs> got quite a few kids and a granddaughter. Okay, so we're almost there with the ganache. So we're just going to spin this around. So I hold the my thumb in one place on the turntable and spin right the way around. Now that's fairly smooth, but it can get a lot smoother. So I'm just going to take this off so all you should have then is the grease proof paper so heat this in here that's why I like using the the metal ones so it's like a knife hot knife going through butter as they say and then you go around just to smooth it out again in one easy swoop scrape that off one more time and then we put it into the fridge for about an hour. And then I'm going to show you how to cover in fondant. Just a little bit more here. If you see any dents or bumps, you can easily fill that in with the extra ganache. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to tidy that up a little bit with some kitchen roll just around the board because you've got a little bit of water on there I don't want that to get into the chocolate okay. sometimes you can just cover and make it so that it's a domed effect as well it's whatever you feel you want the end result to look like so there we have one ganached cake so I'm going to put that in the fridge now 